What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we are looking at how to solve one-step equations which involve subtraction. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to remember is that we must isolate the variable by using the inverse. And there's actually a couple of ways that we can solve this. So let's have a look at the first one and the first solution. So we have this question, x subtract 15 equals 23. So at the moment, x is our variable or our unknown. But at the minute, it's linked to this negative 15 and therefore not on its own and quite hard to solve. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and remove this negative 15 and get the x on its own. So one way of doing it is by looking at the number families to work out the inverse question. What do I mean by a number family? Well, each number sentence, this is a number sentence, has a number family. Other number sentences that use the same numbers but just in another order. For example, x minus 15 equals 23 is our first number sentence. But we could also say that x minus 23 would therefore equal 15. And that would be the second number sentence in the number family. And if you notice, they are both subtraction. But we also have two inverse questions. And the inverse of subtraction is addition. So I could say that 23 plus 15 equals x. Or I could say that 15 plus 23 equals x. And they would be my third and fourth number sentences. What you'll notice is all of these questions use the same three numbers or variables, but they've sequenced them in a different order, and we have two subtraction and two inverse with the addition. But they are all equivalent. They all have the same value. So what we can do is we can look now at one of these, and we can find the inverse. We can actually look at either of these two addition. So I'm going to look at this one here, and we're going to solve it because the x is now on its own. So I can do 23 plus 15 equals x and therefore 23 plus 15 equals 38 and therefore x equals 38. So that's one way but it's a little bit long and sometimes it can be hard to find those number families. So let's have a look at a second way of doing it with question 2. And at the minute I have 54 equals y subtract 20. So Slightly different way of writing it, but if that's a little bit confusing to think about, what we could do is we could put whatever's on this side of the equal sign on the opposite side and say y minus 20, and then we'll put this 54 on the other side, equals 54. That looks a little bit more traditional and what we're used to looking at. So now I have y subtract 20 equals 54. So where's our variable? Here it is. We have y and it's connected to this negative 20. So if we think about what we know about equations, we know that whatever's on either side of the equal sign has to remain the same for our equation to be balanced and equivalent. So if we want to try and get rid of this negative 20, what I could do is I could add a positive 20 to this side of the equation, but therefore I would have to add a positive 20 to this side of the equation too. So let's write that out again. And I'll start with y subtract 20 plus 20 equals 54 plus 20. And all I've done is I've added these two plus 20s to both sides of the equal sign. And because it's on both sides, I know that they must still be equivalent. But now what I can do is I can see that a negative 20 add a positive 20, essentially just equals zero. So therefore this gets wiped out and I'm left with just y. y equals 54 plus 20 and 54 plus 20 is 74. So y equals 74. So two different methods of solving it there. First we have the number family method and then we have the substitution method. Okay, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, please think about subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Or check me out at my website, www.themathsguide.com. Or if you're in year six, you can click a link in the description below to join my year six SATS preparation course. Hopefully this video has been useful. Thank you very much for watching, but I'll see you in another video. Peace out.